Very stern words Jesus uses with the, pro uh, with the Pharisees and scribes. Very, very hard words. Woe to you, hypocrites, etc., etc. Full of dead bones and filth. Things that are difficult to l hear. And what is it that Jesus is trying to show? It is the importance of, of what is said in John 4 in the conversation between Jesus and the Samaritan woman. Who are the true worshippers of God? Those who fulfill an exterior act or those who worship in spirit and truth? Obviously the exterior is important. What we do outside is important. But more important is that what is outside is mirrored by what is inside. Isn't it horrible when someone goes and says to you, Hello, how wonderful to see you. And you can see that in their heart, they despise you. And they don't care for you. Their words are empty. That kind of worship is the worship that Jesus is saying. That's not good. And it's not easy, dear brothers and sisters. It's very, very easy actually to just do things, as we say here, to just go through the motions. Oh, I go to Mass, and obviously this is not your case because this is not obligatory to come to weekday Masses, not, not even Sunday Masses right now, it's obligatory. You obviously are here because you actually want. But sometimes it does happen that we just do things because we have to do them. So. I go and do this with my mom and I call my grandmother and whatever and I just do it not because I really care about them but because there's a law that says thou shalt call your grandmother once every five years you know or something like that it is important that what we do outside is mirrored by the inside and we have to be very gentle because this takes time so much of our things are done because we have to and sometimes we don't want to but Jesus is calling out that little by little the exterior needs to be mirrored by the interior so let us ask the Lord as we celebrate this Mass that he had, might help us to reconcile that what we have to do we actually also want to do that the things that we are done are done in love that they are done in spirit and truth, that we worship really our Lord with our hearts, not only with our minds.